So we've gone through making some interesting organic shapes with our hand grip, but there's still another way to loft that I think is very important. Let's go through lofting with center lines, ways that you can have a loft follow a specific path and still be able to create very specific cross sections on the way. So let's talk about this geometry. We certainly could loft this the way that we have been lofting, but it would be kind of hard to do. So let's talk about new tools that allow us to make this hook a lot easier than we would otherwise be able to. So here in the modeling environment, I'm gonna start by creating a sketch and I'll do so on the XY plane. We'll make an arc. And then I'll use this other tangent arc, just like that. So we have two arcs. I'll give this a radius, and we're going to give that a radius of 3. We'll give this a radius larger. Let's go with 6. Let's go with some dimensions now. Vertically from the origin, we'll make that 1.5. I'll add a vertical constraint on this arc end to the origin and then also a horizontal constraint. And we're fully defined. So I can deactivate the sketch. Now I want to make certain lofts that will be along the sketch, right? Some profiles that will land along my sketch. And the first step to doing that is to create planes that will land along my sketch. And fortunately, we have the capability of doing that. I can select plane, and here I have this relation along a sketch. So if I select a sketch, I have this percentage bar that I can move this a certain percentage along the sketch and my plane will lie normal to the sketch profile at that part. So I'll create one that's 0%. I'll create one that's 20%. I'll create one. Let's go with about 33.85%. I'll create another one. We'll go about, oh, let's say 69. Nice. Let's go with 100%. So with all these plane profiles created, I can start uh, creating certain sections along my sketch. I'll sketch on my first plane that I've created. And you'll notice that I've got this origin that lies right on the sketch that I've made. So that's a nice feature because now I can reference the exact center part of my uh, center line. I'll go with a circle here. We'll give this a diameter and I'm going to go with a small diameter of 0.25 and I can deactivate the sketch. I can go on to my next plane which will be plane 2 and I can create a sketch on plane 2. And here we want our cross section to be 1.5. I'll make a new sketch, this time on plane 3. I want the same cross section of 1.5. On plane 4, we'll create a sketch. I'll grow the cross section here to a diameter of 2. And now we'll select plane 5. And maybe I want this to move into more of a rectangular profile. I'll grab my rectangle by center. I'll grab a horizontal and select one of the lines. And uh, maybe I want rounded edges on my rectangle. Well, I have yet another sketch tool that can round edges. Sketch fillet and I can select one part and then another part and the sharp corner between these two sketch elements becomes rounded and if I apply that then I get a sketch fillet and I can go ahead and apply this to the other corners of my rectangle as well and close. Finally I can add some dimensions here maybe I'll go with two 0.5 and 1.5. Now I notice my rectangle rather is not centered anymore. So I'll select a point of symmetry and points to be symmetric. 
just like that. We'll deactivate the sketch. And finally, I can do my loft. First, I'll select in sequence the faces that I've made. As you can tell, that's not really the hook geometry that we were looking for, but I can change my guide to a center line, and I can say I want this first sketch that I made to be the center line of my loft. And there we have a beautiful hook. This sketch was 0.25. And so if I go to add a fillet, of course, it tells us our default 0.5 is too big. But I can add a point, 0.125, rather, to round off the top of my hook. I can also make that a little bit bigger due to how asymmetric this is. And I can say 0.1, 0.135. And there we have a hook. So that's how we do lofting with center lines, but let's go through in the next video how to make interesting helical patterns. See you then.